When people leave the Defence Force, they've just left a family, a family that's bonded by brothers and sisters. And once you leave that, the big metal gates close behind you. When we first started out with the coffee, we got on the road and I set up a, a small trailer with a coffee cart. I was giving out my cards to see if I can get Defence Force guys to come and talk to me. Because I was originally from the UK, they obviously thought, hey, what's this UK guy doing? What does he know about what we're going through here? I was also in the Royal Australian Navy and I was medically discharged myself and struggled to get back into the community. Then when I told them my story, they then opened up on their story. There were so many people hurting from their ex-military experiences when they left the Defence Force. And because of this, there was only one way I could see things going forward. It was to help veterans transitioning out from the Defence Force into the civilian workforce. I run one of the coffee vans that supports ex-military personnel who are suffering from PTSD. Every coffee sold by us and the other coffee van teams, the money goes towards helping them either set up their own coffee business, Terry will do the same as what he did with us, give them a coffee van with a coffee machine already in it, and they'll go off and try and transition back into the community and give themselves purpose. Other ways is to help companies like PTSD Resurrected. PTSD is no respecter of uniform, age, gender, and it's not just military, it affects first responders as in uh, police fire ambulance, emergency room department, it's insidious. I've been on both sides of the fence as a person suffering and seeing the, the effects on your family and then on the other side of the fence being a person who then presents courses for PTSD resurrected. These courses are not the golden bullet, they don't cure it. If you like it's the blue screen on a computer, it's the control alt delete. It's resetting everything to move forward. We're not too far from Inogra Barracks. We have a lot of people coming in the morning from ADF personnel and ADF families as well come and uh, support us and buy our coffee as they know it's going to a very good cause. We haven't got a total head count, uh, but it's well over 100 veterans we've helped. We knew our success rate is when they rang us up and said, hey Terry, Thanks for your effort, don't need you anymore, I'm moving on. Let's get out of here, see you later. Yeah,